Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In this session, we are going to discuss about the time and labor business process. So, the time and labor business process with the high level overview of the time collection and the processing in cloud time and labor. So, the process begins with the individual who can enter edit, save, submit and delete the time entries. So your permanent and contingent worker can report time through several methods. Starting on the far right, we will group the uh, web clock and the third party device which are typically for clock in clock out type entries. So the web clock is delivered with time and labor and the third party time collection device like badge reader for example for these options, the import process validate event-related time data and create or complete the time entries. The time and labor managers resolve any badges and time entry exceptions identified during the validation. In addition to the individual, there are two types of manager who can also enter time on the behalf of a worker. So the line manager is direct supervisor who approve and time cards for their team members, these manager can review, report and submit time on the behalf of their workers. There is also the time and labor manager for which we delivered a separate time and labor administrator role who can access time cards to report, review and process time. They administer the time and labor process and resolve any issue that may arise. They also have the ability to generate mass time. All three of these roles can enter time for the individuals, whether it's time the entries or complete time cards. Now, whenever a time card is saved, or submitted validation rule checked. Here you can see the validation rules. Uh, so validation rules check for the errors or inconsistencies before the time card move on to the next step where the time is calculated using rules that you will set up. And we will certainly see the process where we set up the rules by which we calculate your time data. Okay, so after the time is calculated, the time card is then ready to be approved and is transferred to a time consumer, which again in our case is global payroll, but it could be certainly be project costing as it will as an external payroll interface. Okay, so this is how time and labor business processes work. So I hope this topic is clear to you. So thank you so much for watching the video.